All right, ladies and gents, welcome back once again to my channel where we are on day 130, 131, and we are just about to leave Pleasant Valley on the way to Black Rock to reload our ammo and brave the poison mist at the bottom of the, uh, at the bottom of the uh, gold, or well, I don't know, yeah, it is a gold mine, I think. All right, so, let's see, been playing Satisfactory all day, again, I'm on that kick. Yesterday it was Icarus before that, but I, it's, it's the way I go through. But I always come back to this one. This one, and I got a few other trusty standbys I go through pretty regular. Sometimes there's a corpse over here, so we're going to go see if it's here. Uh, oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Should be able to get around there. Uh, and. Yeah, I'm going to, things can get rather uh, brutal in Black Rock, so yeah, I'm going to. Sometimes there's a corpse over here. There he is. T-shirt I don't need, but there's a good toy. Here, let's not, let's not accidentally shoot, shoot the dead guy, shall we? Should be a full torch, full close to it. Some feathers. Always say hello. Always grab the feathers. Because at some point in this game, you will run out of ammo if you play it long enough. And then you're left with arrows. Eventually, you run out of birch saplings too, and uh, which means no more arrows. But. Uh, then you have to do what's known as beachcombing, which I have never done, but uh, I guess it's a I guess it's a thing. Oh wait, 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 wait. We want to say goodbye with a piece of chalk or charcoal in this case. Yeah, we should have got that long cur the curve down there. I thought I did. I was going to call map in the car and I forgot. Anyway, so here we are. Welcome to Keeper's Path South, I believe. Yep, south. Use up another piece of charcoal on it right here. Now this is very straightforward. This is just a th uh, uh, pass-through map. There's a few little things here and there. There's a real nice trailer up here with some good loot. A lot of stuff to pick up uh, around, which, you know, we'll probably... I'll probably make a little mini base in that trailer on the way through. That'll probably be the majority of this episode, actually. Uh, Obviously, I want to go get the uh, ooh, matches. Obviously, I'm ready to go get lo get loaded up, and get our uh, ammunition reloaded. But at the same time, we're coming back a different way. So I want to get I want to get a lot of this. I want to get this map all mapped out on the way. If there's anything good here, we can uh, make a note of it and come back to it later because it's right here. You know, we're right next to the, our base in Pleasant Valley. So. It's not even a big thing. See how much uh, of the map we're getting with each piece of charcoal. That tells you how how small the map is. It's just, like I said, it's just a pass through. Whoa, hello. Hi. Come on. Let's get it over with. Come on. I shot him. He's got my arrow. I know he does. I didn't look. Did I get any injuries on that? No. Okay. There's no arrow on the ground, which means it's in him. I thought it was. It's unusually. Usually, when I make a connection on a uh, on a wolf, they don't make it huh. with a bow, anyway. So, eh, it is what it is. It happens. All right. Anything in the truck? Nope. Did I check the, I don't remember if I checked the visors on that last one. I guess there's a way down there. I never thought, I, I've never looked down there for loot. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't want to either. Cattails. I might grab those. And when you're traveling, they're always handy. There is loose eye or uh, 
thin ice on this map, so you do have to watch yourself. Uh, out by the fishing hut, there's a lot of it. I wander up there and uh, wander up there and loot it, and maybe do a little bit of fishing. But there's a rule: one time in, one time out. That's it for me. It's because uh, you will, you'll fall through the ice right there, and you'll be wet. I don't know about this one. We're not going to test it. Okay. But no, I forgot to, uh, I think I forgot to check the visors in here. Yeah, I did. Okay. Remember there's car battery here. Uh, this is real close to uh, our reload, where we're going to be reloading, so. Make the mental note when you're on a map like this where the car batteries are so you can uh, <coughs> later in the game when you can start uh, shuttling them back. I haven't done a whole, I've only reloaded once ever. So uh, I'm, I'm still, uh, like I know there's some processes you can do only doing the Aurora. Other processes you can do all the time. And I don't remember which one it is. I know I think uh, forging the bullets, actually making the bullets, I'm pretty positive is a uh, an Aurora only thing. And I know the machine that fixes your uh, uh, knives and stuff, it's Aurora only. But one of them, uh, like I said, some of the stuff that involves is just like mixing and uh, stuff like that. I don't know. I can't remember. We'll have to test it. Oop, that wasn't what I was after. Should be a wolf corpse here somebody, somewhere. It's a good place for a Karen, but I don't see one. Right around to the left, there should be a trailer, which is where we'll make our temporary home while we loot a few areas right here close. Not like I said, it's not much. There's some stuff down that way. I want to, I want to go grab, loot this trailer, and uh, loot these vehicles around here. Nothing big. Nothing big and exciting. Soda. I mean, you could definitely camp out here for a while. There's all these, uh, all this lumber and stuff to break down that you could make fires out of. There, nothing in the back. Uh, what have we here? All right, I'll check that out. Did I check them? Yeah, no. I can't, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, okay. No battery in this one. I could use this. I'm gonna get the bow out. It's harder to misfire it. Water, cloth, cloth. Basically cloth, 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 cloth. Uh, nothing in here. Another soda. Notice we're getting later in the game now. We're 100 and what, 30, 31 days in. Most of the food we're picking up now is ruined. A lot of the clothing is going to become increasingly more and more ruined. Because things, as I understand it, everything starts uh, de de deteriorating the moment you load a new game. Which, you know, the... Uh, Mathematics and the programming involved in that is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. I think. Keep track of ever, you know, ever. Of course, probably it that probably loads when you load a new map. Like it's trying to blow in a storm on us here. Usually some saplings up here, some rishis. I'm going to 
grab some limbs because I need charcoal. So I think I'm going to start a fire and just let it burn in the barrel there. It's getting dark up here. Time to look for shelter. Show is, Bob. Show is. One of the maps you don't probably not going to come back through. Maybe, you know, might go back to Black Rock, but we reload one time. We're going to have a ton of ammo. And uh, assuming we can get back with it, I guess we're going to head back in here. Uh, it would make more sense to uh, the second time you reload, if you survive that long, to go to Blake Inlet and work on that map whenever you go which is something I have to do on lower difficulties because I have never I had I have never spawned on that map and survived. Uh, of course I've only ever spawned on it in uh, Interloper because I don't ever pick that map obviously. Uh, something about the name I, I guess. All right, so we're going to grab up all this little goodies here. Since this is a barrel, it won't blow out. We got that piece of tinder I accidentally picked up. A little bit of it. Uh, 90%, so let's find a fire striker. Every fire is that much closer to level 5. Which will make cardboard matches 100% on most things, except for like reclaimed wood and probably fur. I don't know, I've never... I don't know if I've ever had level 5 fire shards. Surely I have. Alright, I'm just going to throw all this in because we need the charcoal. Yeah, and that'll give us some, some good charcoal. I don't think I got anything to cook right now. Look at the ruined stuff. Drink those. I could cook up teas, but I'm not going to mess with that. Drink this. Oh. Um, this one's good. I'm going to go ahead and eat part of that. It's already down some. And we'll get a drink when we go to sleep. Uh, like I said, we're not doing nothing with fire. It's just for charcoal. Oh, I should have grabbed a torch off there. Hmm, what was I thinking? Let's go get a torch. Okay. All right. Oh, there's the tools I needed back at Pleasant Valley. Uh, oh, heavy. Oh, look at that. Heavy hammer. Very nice. We are definitely coming back here. Because I'm not carrying that to Black Rock. We will... Mm, I don't know where to leave it. I'll, uh, I'll carry it to one of the forges soon. There's another Mackinac jacket. It always seems to be good loot on the in this in this little trailer. That'll come in handy. So, you believe snow? Eighty-eight percent snow pants right there, man. That's crazy. All right. I'll need the recycled can. Feels like a lot of gear. I could make noisemakers when I get when I go get the stuff. Alright. 
Okay. Look at this. Um, what we're going to do. is drop some stuff here because this we're definitely coming back here because I'm not carrying this hammer with me that's that's a fresh rabbit fella go ahead Duke kid I was talking to my son my uh, Pyrenees is wanting in <coughs> and when he uh, decides he wants in, he doesn't scratch at the door. He scratches at the top of the door. He stands up on his hind legs. And his scratch marks, which I've had to fix a few times, I've almost got him broke from it, but, you know, he's a dog. Uh, he doesn't fix He doesn't fix easily. Look at that. 143 of them things. Man. Tools. Hammer, tools, and miscellaneous. Uh, what's this map? Keeper's Path. don't know about the little uh i learned that from uh, oh zach nathine he's he i seen him use that and i'm like what really you gotta be kidding so yeah anyhow we got i'm not that tired let's uh I'm gonna do that one thing that I, I said I wasn't gonna do because I left one in the other house or back at the farmstead, but this'll take 20 minutes. And that's too cloth. Get us a little bit later in the night, okay. Because we're not gonna be able to sleep through the night, I'm afraid. We slept late because we were getting over this morning and back at Pleasant Valley because we we're getting over the uh, broken ribs. So, good coffee. <laughs> Sounds like another storm. I think we're in Pleasant Valley or something. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna go. We got a gallon of water on us, which is completely amazing for this point, this point in the game. But I'm gonna leave, or not in the game, but in the trip, in th this point in the trip. I didn't realize there'd be. How am gonna keep more, keep extra? We've got a we've got a climb ahead of us at some point, so I have to think about some things. Uh. Now we we made the charcoal. Man, it's still crazy right out right now. We made the charcoal. We got uh, ten pieces out of there. I'm gonna jump in here. I don't know. I'm really not worried about uh, cabin fever. We're going to be outside for a long time. So I'm just going to camp out in here. I'm going to look at my clothing right quick. I know we're fine, but uh, you remember I bought the rabbit hide. Oh, wow. I guess I forgot to drop those. It's not quite daylight yet. It's storming. It's the uh, blizzard out. So I'm just going to kind of look at some things here and touch them up. Don't want to just blindly uh, pass time, although, you know, sometimes you have to. But I don't want to if I can help it. Let's see. We'll try to repair this up. And it's not light enough yet, so we'll see what else we got we can work on. Uh, I 
might have some cr uh, first aid crap. Okay, yeah, there we go. One of those. Storm's over. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to save this for another time. We're going to grab, I think it's light enough now. We're going to go ahead and do this for 22 minutes. You see when the, uh, when the sun, when the points get above the horizon. Oh, I thought it failed. I'm like, no, 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 no. But no, I got to 97. And I'm okay with 97. 97 works for me. Uh, I don't think we have any more ruined food, so let's get rid of this first. And then... This is heavy for what it is. How much of that's going to be left, I wonder? Ah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. All right, get a drink, and so now our gloves are all touched up. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, where's the door? Uh, over here somewhere. There it is. All right, let's get out of here. Storm should be over. Yay. And we, okay, we want to loot down here first. We didn't quite finish that last night. It's like uh, Fluffy? No, I thought I seen Fluffy. So anyhow, this is uh, the other, supposedly the other side of the um, uh, cave in at Milton. If you've played through the story, or if you've you've seen the cave in at Milton, this is supposed to be the other side of that. When we map it, it'll say to Milton, but you obviously cannot get through there. Although you can camp in here. Milton. And then when you walk in here, hey, look. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. But anyway, let's go ahead and charcoal that. Looks like a new day is dawning. And that, wow, I thought that thought it showed up on the map, but I guess not. Oops, hey, pick that up. That wasn't what I was after. Sounds like a late aurora. No, just the music, okay. Uh, there's one of the saplings I figured would be here. Sometimes there's a couple back this way. It pays to go back in this little corner. Which we'll go drop that in the trailer. And it will cut, we'll consider that part of the miscellaneous on the, uh, on the, uh, on our description. We'll definitely be coming back here to pick that stuff up. There's some more. Um... Yeah, it's a little, it's just a little pass-through map, but it all, it pays to explore it. Because there are, they like to hide stuff on places that you're just going to pass through. Uh, the rest of Keeper's Pass is pretty straightforward. There's a little fishing hut, which we'll go down and loot real quick. I hope, wow, we're cold. Really cold this morning. That's in, my clothing okay? Yeah. We got a plus 54. <laughs> nothing's wet, nothing's frozen. It's just cold. Okay. Anytime you start getting cold, it always pay when you're, when you've got this much, you know, good gear. You know, I, I don't have my deer hide pants yet. I don't have my, my deer, uh, my deer boots or anything like that. But I got stuff that's pretty flipping good. So, but uh, when you start getting cold and you're pretty well geared out like this, it pays to check your stuff. Something might be broke or about to break or ruin, however you want to say it. Uh, it always pays. Now there should be a little, uh, should be a corpse right around here. Down at the little overlook. Oh, is he not here today? Hmm. Well. Eh, fine then. Yeah, there's your little overlook. Pretty, huh? So, I always, I always map from here just because, I don't know. Just looks like a place you ought to map from, doesn't it? So there's, a, there's where we come in. 
And uh, down here is nothing. Uh, there's something down there. And then up here, there's a cave, I think, and a fishing hut. I don't remember exactly. It's been a while since I've been on here. We'll check it all out on the way, though. It's all good. We got time. Somewhere there's a wolf corpse. Not over here. <laughs> My little uh, French bulldog's having a conniption. If you're in the Discord, I put a picture of her on the uh, Critter Corner uh, uh, channel that Meowser's made. And now my dachshund's having a conniption fit. Yeah, he's, they've, uh, they've got a bone. They're fighting over the bone. The Pyrenees will put an end to the fight if they get too carried away. He just kind of puts a paw on them, looks at them like, shut up. And they, they shut up, you know. I, I would too. If I was three pounds looking up at 120 pounds, I think I'd be quiet too. Well, she hasn't learned yet. So anyhow, we're going to bump up here. Looks like a corpse or maybe a wolf over there. I um, can't remember what's down here. Let's find out, shall we? Still really cold, though. Hmm. I'm have to stop off at a car or something and warm up if it doesn't warm up soon. I'm not used to being cold. Wolfie down there. Looks like Wolfie's coming up to say hi to us. But a couple of them. Ooh. Cold is making my head feel thick. Be a good place to shoot them right here. Okay, we're gonna end up wrapping right back around this. Oh, well, I'll run away. Shoot. I can't believe I'm still cold. Okay, well, we come down here anyway. I guess it's a way to round off. I can't remember. I don't think I had to come this way, did I? Maybe. Let's go back up here and finish out this corner. I know we're going down here, down that way by them cars, but I thought there was another way. I don't remember having to climb down to get there. Uh, what's over here? My dogs have no manners sometimes. That's the bottom of the... Uh... Separate them two, please. My dachshund is like 13. There's a fishing hut, and that's all. There's different levels of broken ice there, so getting there is not as straightforward as it looks. Keep that in mind. I think we, oh, we can, can we get down this way? I didn't think we could. No. I mean, we can, but it'll hurt. Yeah, we're going to go for it. I'm not going to fish. I just want to loot it. I can't remember where the loose ice is. Thin ice, rather. I think we're safe over here, I hope. I'm going to get over here so I can get back on the bank if I need to. But since there's not another way up, I think. Now. When you're on ice, these are, uh, these also help. Rope climbing drains less stamina, sprains are less frequent, and you can travel with more confidence over weak ice. Basically, it just, wow, I can't, I really am cold. Basically, it means you get more time on thin ice before it collapses. 
I can't believe I'm actually cold. I guess we'll start a fire, a little fire here or something. I'm not getting warm at all. Huh. Hey, Marine Fair, we're going to need that where we're going. Okay, now well, this is one of those areas where I don't really want to start a fire. So. We should. We got 20 degrees for warmth. We can always cancel. Yeah, we're getting warm. That's what I thought. Too heavy. I don't remember which side is weak. got to be able to you got to be be willing I think at one point we have to zigzag across cuz I think it maybe gets thin here or maybe it's up there Yeah, it's around that ice hole maybe. Yeah. We have to zigzag, we have to cross here, I think. You don't want to go over there. And you don't have to go this way. I just, did I map down there? I bet I forgot, didn't I? Let's find out. Yeah, I forgot. We got to go back. Of course, we know we're safe now. Back across here. You can get all the way down to that waterfall, but I've never found anything down there. And it's really, really risky. All right, we're gonna map from in here where it's nice and toasty and safe. There's a the little ice fishing hole. That's just a waterfall. I, there, I've never seen anything down. Ah, you know, ah, I can't decide. I hate taking risks, but I want to map it. Or not necessarily map it. I just want to make sure it ain't named. Because if it's a named location, I'm going to end up having to come back to it if I don't map it now. Okay, well, we made it. Oh, there's a corp. There's a backpack over there. Oh, that's not cool. That was thin ice right there. Oh, you know what I'd give for a bow there. I was going to say, I, I need a bunny hop. Oh, I thought I saw a backpack. You know the backpack? Ah, oh, how rude. Well, here we are. We got it. We got here. I thought I saw a backpack. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, since we're here. There it is, not even a named location. Oh man. Okay, I was stuck. All right, now we're gonna spread around here. Ooh, man, that was 
us. If with a, without the uh, things on, we'd have probably went through that time. I think uh, you get, I think it doubles your, your time. Okay, since we're here. Mm. Good coffee. All right. I just like a while ago. I'm not going to sprint too much because I may have to sprint away from ice. We've already been up through this, so we should be safe. We should pretty well know we're safe here. There's Fluffy up there trying. Two Fluffies wanting to say hi. safe here, so we're going to drop him here, not up there where the ice might get thin. Really? Come on, Fluffy. is problematic since I'm using the bow because it means I can't okay we're gonna have to use a pistol on this guy I knew it was gonna cycle through my long gun before it got to my uh, my bow so That's why I use the revolver. Getting heavy fog, which sucks because now I can't map. But there's a, there's a, uh, man, that gun, I wanted to map this. Shoot. There's a, uh, watch my footing. There's a uh, cave up here, if I remember right. there's a cave up here. I don't remember. It's been a while. I've been through here a few times, but it's it's been quite a while. Oh, wait. This is the way we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we go up this way, I think, to get off the map. I don't know. It's been so long. Yeah, that's the way out right here. Ice cave. So we're going to go and do a little more mapping on this map. Hopefully, if the fog breaks, I'm just, I'm, I'm annoyed because I, I wanted to finish this map while we were going through it. And now that, now it's uh, frustrating me. Why have I got the rifle out. Boy, that's dumb. Uh, let's see. It would really be good if I could chalk this. Hmm. My dogs are needy tonight. 
Okay, yeah, I kind of remember this now. This is where the uh, river ends or something. It's like a big plug we can't get across, we can't get through. Forces you up this little path. We'll go up here and look. I can't map it though, it's frustrating. I wanted to map it. if it's lit up enough yet. Nope. Cycle through all my weapons to get back to my bow again. Well, I could use the I could use the wheel, but anyway, I'm gonna go back up this way because there's some cars and stuff up here on the road. Pyrenees is being very, very needy tonight. I don't know what's got into him. About to put him out. All right. This looks like a good place to search the oh, limit. Still early in the day. Let's take a little hour nap here after we eat a bite. Drink a drop. And I think I'm just going to sleep for an hour cuz I hope I'm hoping this I'm hoping this uh, fog will break so I can get some mapping done. Doesn't look too promising. No, oh, not yet. Let's go up here and look anyway. So this is the uh, the other pass to I can't remember where Milton or Blackrock. Obviously, it's one of those places that uh, could easily be opened up in a future expansion. I kind of think a lot of the cave-ins and stuff are, are just placeholders. All right, we're going to nap for another hour here. Hey, it's clear now. It's late, but it's clear. There we go. All right, now, I don't think, remember if I need to go up there or not. There's a race here, but there might be some stuff in there. That's where we're going back down there, but I think there's some other stuff around here that we want to look at. We always sleep in the car for the night if we need to, but if we're so close to the cave, we'll probably just... Barring something crazy like a blizzard or something like that that just totally blindsides me. Because I don't know around my way around the map very well. I know I could probably hang to the right and find my way back. Let's see, from where we're at right now, we're uh, right here. If we would walk due south and, and a little bit west, we would make it back to a road. So, you know, that's good to know. Kind of keep it. Whenever you're on a new map, it's good to charcoal and then kind of keep an eye on uh, your map. Look at your map from time to time. Get orientated where you're at so that if you can get a good read. Man, there's a lot of rashies here. I'm not picking anymore. There's a green sapling, maple. Take that. 
I was going to take these back to the trailer, but uh, I forgot. So I guess they're going to Blackrock with us. Kick them out at the prison. Let them cure. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? There. There he is. Thank you. Come again. All right. Thank you for the bow skill, buddy. Appreciate it. All righty. Now, we haven't checked this car yet. What's that up there in the road? What is that? Is that just a rock? Yeah, I guess it's just a rock. Look like a bear laying there. I'm like, hmm. Of course, I walked up there without getting anything out, so. <laughs> I would have deserved whatever I got, I guess. All right, what have we got here? Good, good little hidey hole. In case of a blizzard. All right, let's get up here and uh, do a little mapping. Charcoal on this. This should give us a good idea on the rest of the map. There it is. All right. So now we're going to go back right back up here, and we've pretty well got this. This is mapped. This is mapped. We're good with that. On to the cave in Black Rock. Well, we still got to go through Keeper's Pass north. Which I'm hoping maybe we can get up to the little, uh, it's kind of a, just a tedious little run up through there. And then you, if I remember right, you go down a rope and then there's like this little cabin there. And end up being useful. I didn't know you'd check them from here. Can't reach the glove box though. Newspaper. Uh, red torches last longer, but they uh, don't do much against the uh, timber wolves. So anyhow, um, this map is done. So we go down through here because we haven't been we haven't been through here yet. Because I'm looking for stuff like this, so I can quit carrying around that heavy freaking peroxide. I hate the hitbox on these things sometimes. All right. Down, down we go. At this point, I don't, I don't usually stop for lichen by old man's beard, but uh, I will at this point because we, I got, we got really, really almost out of it. Well, come on. You get one more charcoal on this map, and that'll be where we go in the cave. And that should be all the named locations here. Probably some more cattails down through there if I'd look. Walk softly. My, uh, if you hear the rattling in the background, that is my French bulldog running through the house with her plastic food bowl, rattling, running into things like a bulldozer. So, uh, she's not hurting anybody, so I'm going to let her do it. to the cave mouth, man, we're heavy. If you go down and go up the other way, you don't have to deal with these things, but uh, they don't really, they're not like rope climbs or anything. They don't really, 
hurt you too much. Doesn't matter if you're overweight or anything like that. So here we are back in our little cave pass thingy. Hey, oh, oh. that is the one one of my that's a, another one of those quality of life things I'd like to see addressed in the future. Move the hit box for the rose hips farther away from the hit box for the climb. That's a mistake I'm not going to make in real life. I'm going to pick the berry, not just accidentally climb down the place, <laughs> right? All right? What do we got going in here? Is that a piece of firewood? Yeah, we'll grab that. All right, this is an ice cave. I don't think there was any fluffies in. Oh, I forgot to. I don't remember. It sounds scary, but I, I don't think there's any fluffies in this one. Yeah, I don't, pretty sure, because I've been through it before. Okay, there we go. There's the map cave to the cave system. Here's where we came in from Pleasant Valley. These are that's a cave in to Milton. That's another cave in up here. And the fishing shack, well, it was right there. It feels like bigger map than what it is, but that's really all there is to it. Not much. It's just kind of a windy, windy way. It's a good little map. I like it. So anyway, here we go back in. Keepers Pass North. Nah, I don't like it quite as much. But there's usually a deer carcass down here. Last time I was through, there was. And somebody sitting here that uh, didn't make it. I'm going to go ahead, since it's nice and toasty in here. Even though it is an ice cave, I'm going to take the hide. I'm going to grab dinner. I'm not going to take the guts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take it. Always use a little dinner. All right. Oh, looks like he's got dinner too. Hey, thanks, buddy. Improvised knife, tomato soup. What you got in your pockets? Oh, rifle cartridges. I like those. Yeah, I don't need that though. Okay. There are. I'm gonna try and work our way through here. What's that? Oh, useful. Okay. Since we're in a cave, let's find trusty old spelunkers, shall we? Should ain't a whole lot to see in here, and it's pretty bright. But sometimes you miss loot if you're not looking real, if you don't see real well. Oh, uh, let's see. What time is it? We're getting close. Here's my dog again, barking at my cat. He can't get to the cat and because the cat's up high and she don't like it. Uh, almost time to get my wife up. Not quite an insomnia, insomnia video tonight, but it's close. It's still later in the evening. That's something to be easy to, easy to miss if you don't have it. I wouldn't have had a... Uh, lantern out but then again all I got out of it really was some lantern fuel so I replaced what I spent oh let's see here looks like we got a left and a right I think uh, I think they go the same I think they both go the same way so if I'm not mistaken Go through the scary, t scary looking fangs. And I'm pretty sure I know the way out, but uh, I want to check for loot while we're in here. I mean, we're not quite tired yet. Uh, oop, wrong that. Let's finish that off. I should have cooked those. I thought it was dog food, but. I guess it was uh, pork and beans. There's the dog food. We'll eat, we'll eat the dog food. Can't cook that. Okay, now I get a drink. I'm only doing this just to lighten up a little bit. Plus, sometimes I forget. 
getting real close to an hour, so by the time we get this cave looted and get out to the entrance, it'll be... Uh, I thought about trying to get to that little house, but uh, it's not going to happen. Okay, we walked all the way down here, and uh, I don't look like we've got anything to show for it other than uh, other than some fresh wear. Hey, you know what? I still got these things on. Let's get those off. No need putting es excessive wear on our crampons. They're a little more, uh, and they're still easy to fix. You just have to have uh, tools, or maybe not even tools, but you have to have scrap. Okay. I think that's the way we come. No, I don't know. I'm, oh yeah, this. I think this is where we came in at. There's a nice little place to kind of sleep up here. I don't know why, but it's there. Same thing on this side. If you're not careful, you get turned around because it's mirror images of each other. That's probably the purpose, is just be, make them the same so you come back off of one of them and be like, oh, where am I? Okay, this should be the exit. Let's see. Yep, okay, this is the exit. And welcome to Keeper's Pass North. A little more, a uh, little less friendly. Uh, really, they call this low visibility? This is not low visibility. Come on, really? Uh, we're at 57 minutes, so we're going to go in and look at our gear, cook our, cook our little piece of deer meat. I think we got enough. We might have, I think I still got some reclaimed wood on these. And uh, I know we picked up at least one log, so I think we'll probably be able to put down our barrel. Uh, it's one of those caves. Seems like I slept up here last time. Are you kidding me? For real? I mean, really. Come on. Can I not sleep in here? I know I've slept in here. I think. Clearly, I cannot sleep here. That's uh, that's annoying. So, I guess we'll go on. I thought I'd slept here before, though. Keep checking all the way out. Sure don't look like I can sleep here. I mean, it is an ice cave. I could see it being a problem, but I don't know. I just, it seems like I've slept here before. Okay, fine. Well, oh, great. Really? Well, what do you do? We look around here and see what's close. That's got to be a bug. Why wouldn't I be able to sleep in there? I mean, I can sleep in a in a little red dugout in the snow. Like right there where I was just at. It's kind of a little cut out in the snow. Why can I not sleep here? This just doesn't seem... This doesn't seem legit at all. I mean, something... 
too close to another object, but what kind of another object? I mean, really. Too close to the ice? Look, if I was surviving in real life, I would sleep here. But whatever. I guess we're going to have to uh, go up in this little cubby thing here. It's a little bit broken. Maybe I can get a fire here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of lamp oil just for speed. That should help warm things up. I'm gonna cook my uh, deer meat up before it gets me eaten by wolves. This is rather unfortunate. Can't sleep in the cave. I got a blizzard out of here. What do I, what on earth do I do in this situation? This feels dumb to me. If the wind changes, I'm screwed, but I've got an hour of fire. I don't like this, but I'm about out of energy. I'm in the, I got a storm going on, and for some reason, I can't sleep in there. This is where the bear high, bear skin bed roll is a real lifesaver, though. Fire's gonna go out in a minute. Fire's out. Now we're really risky. I can kind of see now. I'm not going to be able to map this map. It's a pretty straightforward map, as I recall. It's not a whole lot of ways to get turned around on it. There are some wolves. I do not like going through a map I'm unfamiliar with in the dark, though. But it's leaving me no choice. It won't let me sleep in the cave. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I'd never run into a, into a cave I couldn't sleep in. We're overlooking where we're supposed to be going right now. It's a straightforward map. You can only kind of, you can kind of really only go one way. Uh, it's like a ravine, as I recall. And of course, the first thing we did was go the wrong way, but that's okay. I've never been down here. So I don't know where in the world we're going to. I should have just, it saved when we slept. Uh, yeah, I should have just cut it there, I guess. But I'm not gonna sleep, I'm not, I'm not gonna sleep again. Right now. We'll find some place to sleep in a minute. I'm sure of that. I think there's a cave along here somewhere that we can probably get some real sleep in. I 
don't remember. It's been, like I said, it's been a minute since I've been in here, and this is definitely not the conditions I want to come in and come through. I could have grabbed that, but I'm not slowing down. I want to get up here and, and find some place to camp. I don't recall there being a wolf in here, at least not until you get down off the road. I think there's some rabbits. Like I said, it just seems like a really long, twisted uh, place that you really can't go wrong in, I think. But it's been a while. I had every intention of sleeping in that cave. I'm... There's the rabbits I was thinking of. It's a nice little cave. Not really a cave so much, but. Remnants of the cave in, I guess. Uh, there will be, I mean, in, uh, this actually wouldn't be a bad spot to sleep, but I feel kind of exposed here. Really exposed. And my clothes are probably getting wet. Eh, not too bad. That's surprising. I kind of figured they wouldn't be. someplace to sleep somewhere close worst case scenario we'll be at the little cabin here before long and we can say we can go in there and sleep I think there's a preppers cache next to it if I remember right Bob's getting cold, really? Come on. Throw, want to throw a few more inconveniences at me? Come on, this is supposed to be straightforward. And granted, it's midnight in a, in a snowstorm, and not a snowstorm, but it's a snowy, it's a snowy night in Canada in the winter time. So, I mean, surely I wouldn't be cold. Well, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. It was not intending to be. I would, like I said, I was planning to sleep all the way back there. Was there, was there not a rope climb here? I thought there was. I'm starting to feel like we're coming out of the cabin. If there is. We'll have to be careful because we might be running into wolf zone now. Bob's getting tired. Seems like there was a... cave or something here real close. I thought. I don't think there's a bear here. I don't think. I thought there was a cave here, but I'm not finding it. Oh, now they're going to throw the wind thing at me, so cut my already reduced speed in half. 
Hey, there's the cave I was thinking of. Or not the cave, but the house I was thinking of. I've always tried to pick this up every time I come through here. Can't feel my hands. All right. Now this is a decoy, but we're going to allow it to be a decoy. Really not a whole lot of... We only got a couple hours till daylight, so we might just suffer through it. I thought there was looked like there's a prepper's cache here or something. I can sleep there if nothing else. But Like there was something good here. Maybe it's not for a little ways yet. Not sure why I feel so tired. Got to go up a couple of them rose hip climbs. All right, we're going up that way. This map has thrown just about everything it could throw at me this time. It's sort of a bear or a moose, or both. Hey, I'm so Shut up, Bob. Up again. All right, I guess we're going to build this fire. Oh, let's see, I should have plenty of sticks. And we'll use the fire striker for the uh, 100%. Where did I get to? Oh, yeah, breaking stuff down, I guess. Okay. So we're just going to sleep as long as we have a fire and then get up and go. Come on. That'll, say, that'll cure our hypothermia risk, dry everything out. And it's so late, and then it, we've, we've walked most of the night, so it'll kind of, it'll, it'll get us, it'll help us out. Well, thank goodness for that. We're going to burn everything we got, except for my... Important stick. Looks like we're only getting it three hours, and that sucks. All right, venison got 328, 1,000. Take 328 first, and then we'll take the rest of the dog food. A little bit more of the stinky meat. Get us a drink. And then we got three hours. We'll use this bed. Get us nice and warm. Probably get more than three hours out of that fire. It tells us three hours, but uh, we're still nice and yeah, we still got another hour there, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. It says an hour twenty two, so we're gonna try and go for two and see what happens. Hopefully we don't freeze to death. Fire's still not out yet. Good. Still got 22 minutes left on it. And it is daylight. Good deal. Uh, we're not, I mean, we're still wore out. But anyhow. Oh, there's some more firewood right there. Right, let's do this. That'll give us another hour 35. Let's go for another two hours. Now we've got most of our energy back. Still got a little bit of, uh, you know what? Hmm. Let's go one more. Fire's out. Game is saving right now. And so we're going to call this the end of a long episode with some unfortunate things at the end. That was uh, frustrating. I, I'm going to have to go back and look. I, I I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't sleep in that cave. I've slept in ice caves before. But anyhow, uh, something to, something to, somebody probably knows the answer to. 
besides me. It may have, probably has something to do with all the shifting earth over our head when you're in there. It goes all that loud noise, so who knows. Anyhow, as always, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you enjoy my content, smash that subscribe button. Get those bell notifications. Uh, Discord channel is open. Look for the link on my main channel page, perhaps in the description of this video if I don't forget. Regardless where you comment, though, I love comments. I thrive on comments. The good, the bad, the ugly, the hints, the tips, strategies, the tactics, the constructive criticism, the not-so-constructive criticism. But whatever you do, keep those comments clean. And until the next episode, y'all have a great game.